Welcome everybody to the 2016 10 ball challenge at the BCA Pool League National Championships here at the Rio All Suite Hotel Casino. This is the Pro Arena. This is Freddie Agnier. I'm joined by Jay Helfert. Hey Freddie, how you doing buddy? Uh, pretty good, you know. You hear the horns in the background, the alarm. We have set the place on fire, I think. The <laughs> alarms are going off. Somebody's getting Don't say robbed. that. Don't say <laughs> I, I hope it's a false alarm. Well, the show must go on. Ike Runnels from the Chicago area. He's He doesn't live in Chicago, but it's just as easy to say that. He's on the road, man. Yeah, versus the shredder, Danny Smith out of Toledo, Ohio. So race to thir seven, alternating breaks, 10-ball challenge. It's a good matchup here. We've had a lot of good matchups here, Jay. You know, we started off with the 10 ball last week, U.S. Open 10 ball, and the U.S. Open 8 ball, the 9 ball challenge, and here we are with the 10 ball challenge. And this the next one coming up is the 8 ball challenge. All right. These uh, 9 ball, 10 ball, and 8 ball challenge are uh, open events. And we got that big, that big, uh, what is it, the OB challenge match tonight, Rodney uh, and Bustamante. Is it the Tiger challenge tonight? Is it the Tiger challenge? Okay, thank you. Tiger challenge. Race to 21. Ike was out here practicing about an hour earlier. Danny just got here. Danny, has, does, did he even hit a rack? He he hit some balls. Okay. But I think he was too busy talking to you. <laughs> he, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't you seem like he was uh, really practicing the table as much as Ike. Ike's made a ball in the break and looks pretty open. I think the trick is the four of the six ball doesn't pass. He's got to get above that four ball after he shoots the three. Right. That's what he's looking at now. Ike is uh, better known as a one-pocket player, but he can play all games. He can play all games. One-pocket and banks. He he won a, bank, uh, a a small table tournament in the last couple of years. I want to say that it was at the Super Billiards Expo or some diamond seven-foot table tournament just recently in the last couple of years. I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, but there is a PA system telling us that they apologize because the alarms are going off here. And they're investigating. Maybe it's stopped now. Let's hope so. The lights aren't going on anymore. The lady's still screaming. You're right here. Jay's looking at how to get on that four ball. Five ball will go on the side. These are short matches, races to seven. Boy, that was our short. Race of seven on a small table. Well, he's got where he wants to be. Uh-oh, Ike is uh, getting getting close to uh, violating the BCA Pool League rules. His hat is starting to turn to the side. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to say anything. Probably Hit this not. ball good. Let's see if he's going to get up there. Ooh, oh, he's left-handed, jacked up over the top of this. Boy, he looks like he can make this. He's not. doesn't look so worried. This is not an easy shot. Anytime you see Ike shoot, he never seems worried. That's an interesting way to bridge. He's able to palm down the bridge and still jack up over the ball. It's a tough little shot right here. Oh, he missed, he missed it, too. It. Fortunately, the cue ball rolled a little bit tough here. I'm not sure if Danny can cut this four to the right because the cue ball is tracking right towards that other corner pocket. Let's see how he keeps that cue ball in play. Doesn't yeah, seem I guess to he mind. I guess it, he knows it's close. He's going to come close to that point of the corner pocket if he shoots his four across table. They're playing 10 ball. It should be call shot or call pocket. We used to just call oh, it look, call he's, shot. He's jacking up trying to hold it now. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. A lot Tough of inside shot. English trying look. to throw it. Look how far away he was yeah. shooting from that ball. Not even, close, not even close. Not even close. Inside English is tough enough without having yeah. to jack it up. He was trying to do something funny to hold the cue ball and keep it from scratching, but uh, he didn't even come close with that four ball. Yeah, believe it or not, he was trying to make the four. It's a good shot. Straight on the five, just float forward for the six ball, the lime green ball. Mike's thinking, do I want to shoot it? He can shoot it in the side and slide right past the six and shoot the six in the same side pocket. He's got two He's got two choices. He can go forward, shoot the six in the corner right where he's standing. 
or he can shoot the five in the side and then shoot the six in the same side, which I think is what he's going to do. Oh, now he changed his mind. Now he's shooting the five straight down the table. I think that's the right shot. Six ball had an available pocket straight forward. He got perfect on this ball. Notice how he rolled forward a little bit, Jay, because if he didn't, as a left-hander, he wouldn't have been able to reach it. Ike's got a nice, soft little style. Doesn't do any more than he has to. No extra effort. No stress, no strain. I like it. One nothing. Ike Runnels, you'll notice, Jay, he has a glove on both hands. I'm not sure what the second glove is supposed to do on the grip hand. Maybe just keep him warm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he switches hands, because he can shoot right-handed, too, if he has to. Oh, that's Watch. true. That's He'll true. switch hands. I, switch. I saw a guy playing with a glove on both hands, but they weren't pool or billiard gloves. They were like winter gloves. Are you talking about Earl Strickland? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the beloved one. <laughs> Danny Smith to break. Another premier one-pocket player. He's shown that in the past few years. Breaking from the rail. I want to see how Corey's breaking. I bet Corey's not soft breaking in this tournament. Well, you never know. <laughs> you, yeah. you never know. If you don't have to drive balls to to a cushion and just have to make a ball, maybe he's putting the one ball on the side. We'll see Corey <coughs> soon. He's still, he's still winning matches in the 10 ball. Meanwhile, nothing down. I can see the I one, but I don't one. think, I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see enough of it to cut it in. It's close. It's close. Very, it looks like close. a bad hit to me because the eight's above the one. Well, if Bill Stock goes That's over there, you look at the eight ball, the direction the eight ball goes will tell you if it got hit first. It's impossible to go backwards if you hit the eight ball first. You better get up there close where you can see this because I'll tell you, this looks funny to me from here, but we'll see how he hits it. Good hit. Yeah, he made a good, made a good hit, hit, right, but, but not good enough. He could, I don't think he could see that enough of the one ball to cut it in. He tried to cheat yeah. the pocket on that, He's and that's not going to work on it. these diamond pockets. So tonight is the Tiger Challenge, and tomorrow is the OB Challenge. That's correct. You'll see, starting at 5 o'clock, Francisco Bustamante versus Rodney Morris. Race to 21, 10 ball. That'll be a great match. Danny well, pumps that one ball on the side. It was almost like he was shooting a two-way shot as if he thought he might miss it. Sure. Because he's got a well, lot it of wasn't exactly on It wasn't an easy shot. <laughs> well, he shot that shot like he's bored. <laughs> One of the young stars. It's, it seems like he's been around for a long time to be a young star. I don't think he's 30 years old yet, though, even though he's got a receding hairline. <laughs> Hey, it could happen to you. <laughs> They'll end up playing a 6-8 combination. Making going to make sure the 6 ball doesn't drop, or he's playing for the 7. Maybe play both. That's a good shot there where you actually cut the ball in. And then it can't follow in. Seems like very little effort required on Danny's part either to, to make these balls. 
That's about the biggest stroke he put <coughs> right. on a ball yet in this rack. You know, they've been playing on these tables now for um, a week. A week. They're certainly used to them. He might just stop it right there. Oh, he went all the way. Hmm. Well, all the way, all too, the way far. too far. Even too yeah. far for the corner, but of course he'll make this. I'm not sure why he went. He so missed it. Wow. Interesting. I was about to say, I can't believe he's not going to put a little bit of left hand English on this. He put it in dead straight center. And a little bit pumped, careless there, Freddie. I mean, it he, right did, he really didn't look at no. it. And he had a big side pocket to shoot at. And he overstroked. Who says you can't miss on these small tables? Tough shot. Wow. Nicely done, Ike. Ike's going to be ahead two to nothing and, and breaking. breaking. That was uh, kind of a strange run out there by Danny Smith. I mean, he ran out perfectly and then played bad shape on the 10 ball. Mm -hmm. Dog the 10. If he had taken an extra few seconds and taken a good look at it, I think he would have made it. I think so. Well, the alarms are off, so we must be safe. You know, with all these false alarms, I'd hate to, I would hate for there to really be a fire. Yeah. Because nobody would believe No one it. would move. Mike Ronalds, he uh, broke pretty well last time. Didn't get a, didn't get a break and run, but he stole one. Pat Davini Q he's playing with. Two There's ball two in. Ball Looks like he'll have a shot in the one. Going to have yeah, a good shot good at the shot one. one. The only ball wide. that's tough is that five ball. Yep. I'm not sure the five will go in the side. Yeah, he's going to have to shoot that five down the corner. Down the corner. Ike is... Uh, I asked him if he played in the seniors. He said, no, he's 54, and you got to be 55 to play in the seniors. Boy, Ike went too far. He can't see the three ball. He's got to right. kick it. Kind of an unforced error there. He's kicking. I think he must have called it. That's not going to get it done. Yeah, he was trying to lay the cue ball behind the 10. What's Danny going to do? He's going to have to play a safety, safety right back. Safety back. Send the cue ball down table. There you go. Too far here, I think. Yeah, I can see it. See the, he sees the football, and he's not on the rail. Safety back. It's going to come real thin off the edge of the three. Kind of like, like that. that. That was a nice Stay hit. Stay on that, that side. That was a nice thin hit. Good shot. No window. I think He's he kicking called the three in the corner pocket. And the one of those balls went in the corner pocket. Ike is going to get ball in hand here. Looks like he wants to get about to the center of the table. I think you want to shoot that five from above it towards the foot of the table. Get the cue ball to the head of the table. Actually, if the five ball is off the side pocket, nothing won't matter. Yeah, there he goes. Three rails, one, two, two rails to the third rail. He's going to get under the five, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Well, he got close. Not perfect. Not but perfect, good. but he's all right. <laughs> Float it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's, he's, he just, he got, just there. got there. You're right. Most of Ike's shots are floating shots, not like, like a Shane Van Boning, who's a lot of his shots are kind of with some pace. Yeah, Shane plays with power. Yeah, given the two directions, Ike will go with the float. He's got a nice, gentle touch. Kind of like he's caressing those balls. See, like this, a lot of people go three arrows around. Maybe he will. He did. He will. 
Put a little stroke a on. A little it. bit of a stroke. He's got that. He's got that little punch. <laughs> he gave a little grin, or is he always grinning? <laughs> Three nothing. He said Ike is fifty four. Yep. And one of the seniors fifty five. You got to be fifty five. You got to be fifty five to qualify for seniors. I thought he was a little bit older, actually. I thought he was like fifty six, fifty seven. Oh, really? I thought he was younger. Huh? Uh, I thought he was younger. <laughs> well, Ike still gets out there and plays with the best players. Yeah. I guarantee he's played Danny Smith in one pocket. Sure. Danny's behind, doesn't have a bead on his side yet. Let's see what he can do here. Good break. Well, eight ball didn't go in, but the other ball that's in the side pocket. He's going to have a shot on the one. <coughs> Three balls down. It's a little disheartening when you run all the balls and Two then you miss down. the ten ball. There's only one way to make up for it, run the next rack. <laughs> He's going to have to get good on this four ball. Yeah, either the combination or the or get down below it or above it. He's going to shoot the eight down in the corner. Yeah. Good shot here. Should be about straight in the four. That's what he was playing shape for. Stick Got to hit this one here. good. He did. Nice shot, Danny. This is... Not quite similar to the ball he just they missed. Just missed. Yeah. This one's in. Boy, he pockets balls nice. I'll tell All right. you. Couple of rails up, or one, or draw it long. Keep forgetting we're on the seventh foot table. Game number one for Danny Smith. Ike to break three to one. This is kind of a what you'd call a mini tournament. The low entry fee, one hundred and sixty dollars. We've got eighty-three players. I think first prize is two thousand. So it's not nearly as big as the. Uh, U.S. Open 10 ball and 8 right. ball that just completed. But still, it's a payday. Yeah. Really, it's, um, it's a tournament for anybody to get in if you want to play against the best players in the world or like against the pro players of the world. Some of our pro, pro players have left today. Thorsten and Shane and John Mora all flying out to Qatar for the World 9 ball, which... Actually, the qualifiers have already started. The main event starts in, in two more days. Alex go also? Yeah, I think Alex is gone too. Didn't make a ball this time? I don't think so. Nope. Good break. Boy, this is a tough one to push out on. Danny may try to make this ball. He may try to go rail first and make it. That's what he's looking at. It's a tough one to make. Let's see. Massé? Massé. I don't know about that. The kick is a back cut kick. He doesn't want to push out for a jump shot because uh, you jump this, you jump over the two ball here, and the cue ball may go off the table. You may launch it. Mm, you got to, if you go rail first, you've got to hit the very edge of the I think one he's ball. He's kicking and sticking here instead. I think he's one trying on the to make side. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not going to... Oh, can he make this ball in the side pocket? Awfully close. He's looking <coughs> at it. He's looking at it. This is a real severe angle here. It looks much easier from that angle. Maybe I should look at it from that angle. 
since it obviously makes it easier. I think he can make this ball on one side. Look how slow he hit that ball. Wow. Nice shot, Ike. Remember I like Ike? Or is that before your time, Freddie? That was a little bit before my time, okay. but I think I watched on, uh, you know, YouTube. Happy Days or something yeah, like right. that, you know. <laughs> you know who Ike was, right? Yes. Huh? Dwight David Eisenhower. Wow. Uh, Freddie, I, we can't fool you. I told George that. George asked me a question I have the answer to. I said, ask Fred. <laughs> Freddie knows. I said he knows everything. He does have a soft touch. Yeah, he's just kind of rolling eggs over here. Stop. Eight, nine, ten. I think a lot of viewers who have never seen Ike Ronalds play will want to emulate his game. You'd like to emulate his game. Yeah, especially with the part of balls going in the pocket. He makes it look like he's not doing anything. Right. Except he keeps winning games. Four to one, Ike Reynolds. We're only going to seven. Danny's coming up here to break. Danny's kind of a noted money player these days. He plays a lot of private matches. Yes, yeah, so you're not going to see that on the uh, AZB money list, I don't think, anytime no, no, soon. No, no, no. He might be the leader. <laughs> uh, won the Louis Roberts Award last year, not this past year, but uh, 2015, I think. <laughs> oh, for the Action Award. The Action Award. At Derby City. Yeah. Action Award no more. This past year was the last one, Jay. So what do they call it now? No, nothing. Nothing? It's gone? Yep. You know why? I'm not sure. You and me. We uh, had that interview with Grantland. Remember that? I'm not sure. It was the ESPN magazine. Oh, yeah. The yeah. glorification of action. Oh, okay. We finally put an end to that. So it's our fault? <laughs> well, it's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tagging uh, along. <laughs> oh, God. So if it's bad, it's my fault, and if it's good, you did it. You got it. Okay, I understand. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, is he on the correct side of the floor ball? Not really, but uh, he can get there. Kind of a tough cut. Phew. Could have gotten in trouble with the nine. Doesn't seem to phase him. Two rails to the six ball. You figure him for him to get out here, but we said that before in this match. High left hand English. Boy, he's really got a looping stroke. <laughs> I'll tell you. Look at this. Not so bad. Probably go two rails, side rail, end rail, and back up towards his pocket. Touch the side rail again and straight, straight in. in 10. Four to two. Race to seven. Most of these games are going to be one inning games. Well, that's what happens when you have professional players. That's going to be like that in almost every game. A little bit more so here. I'm sure that now that people are taking stats down, we can have a figure of how much more difficult or less difficult a smaller table is given everything the same conditions. Same pocket size like this, the pro cuts. Well, somebody's been putting all kinds of statist statistics up on uh, AZ Billiards. Yeah, that's at large. Yeah. Oh, that's right, right. Got to find out where he gets these because I don't think he watches every match. You think he's making it up? <laughs> well, if he did, who, you know, got to put a who lot would of know? effort. Who would know? Um, yeah, because he put a lot of numbers up there, that's for sure. Well, he confirmed that when Torsten broke last night in the Hill game and he broke dry, that was the only rack he broke dry the last game. That's amazing. 
There was another statistic I read this morning that I thought was kind of in right. Look out, cue ball. Now, 10 balls dropped. Did you 10 know ball spots. that in those 41 games that Thorsten and Shane played last night, no game went beyond the second inning? <laughs> I believe it. That was kind of a shocking statistic. This is a little tougher rack here. The six balls over there where the five was well, let me, a couple racks ago. Let me answer to that, not that you're asking a question, but when Torsten Homan beat marvelous Marlon Manalo in the IPT in Las Vegas, I think they were. Right. Neither one of those games went past the f second inning either. I believe that Marlon didn't break and run one of his racks. So that's what happens when you get great players on a great table playing eight ball. And you know why you don't hear much about Marlin anymore? You know why? Why? He got into politics in the Philippines. <laughs> like a lot of top players. It's been surprising that Efren isn't a senator. There he was another good player from the Philippines that's in politics now, Edgar Acaba. But I think Marlin is like a uh, s House of Representatives. He's got a high position. Nice. And again, well, I, I guess it'll go in the side. slow... Look. Well everything, done. Everything well is done. caressing, <laughs> just caressing the cyclop balls. Boy, I'll bet he gets a lot of games. You take, you look at him and you think, oh, this guy's not that good. But after you're done uh, emptying your wallet, <laughs> then you'll realize. Well, I tell you what, Jay, I'm, as I said before, there's going to be a lot of people who've never seen Ike's game. They're going to try to emulate it. Well, he's just cruising through these racks. Even though the cue ball is going about, I mean, he's just barely hitting these balls. Yeah. Meanwhile, and that's he, 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 hasn't got, he hasn't got out of line once. And that's the way he plays. Makes it look soft, easy. Soft, 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 soft. One of these times he's going to get out of line and he's going to have to put a power draw stroke on there. He's got it. Well, Danny hopes it happens this match. <laughs> There's a good shot at Mr. Ike Runnels staring it down. I love the hat. M I think that's as modest. I was yeah. going to say I love it, and then suddenly I couldn't read it. Modest. <laughs> Now what kind of hat is that? Modest. It's an irony hat. Yeah, Ike is actually a very soft-spoken man. He's not one to brag about his accomplishments, nope. and he has many. He's a professional pool player. This is his job. That's all he does. Look at this shot. He's trying to jack up and draw this ball back down the table. Didn't nope. work. Didn't work. <coughs> Ike's got the one on the side. He's going to take a look at that three ball. I don't think the three passes the six. Not he, in the side? It might. It's tight. It's tight. We'll see. It's nice camera it work there. Might He's go got up. a half a pocket. I mean, it would be better, I think, if he could draw down below it and shoot the three up past the eight. He's got a full pocket that way. That's what he's That's doing. That's what he's doing. He had well, just he hit it in a spot that maybe he can actually take a look at it in the side. Yeah, he's got he's got his choice here. If he could make it in the side, he's got kind of natural running English to come up above the four. No, he's shooting down in the end pocket. He's not going to take a chance on missing that ball. That's oh his first boy. mistake. His first mistake of the match caused by the bad position he got on the three. He's going to play a safety. He's trying to put the cue ball right, right on top of the nine. nine. Whoa. That'll work. That'll work. I think he has paint here, though. Just a lick of paint. 
Well, if he does, he might actually be able to cut it in the side. Right in the side. He's leaning down to look, see if he's got a window between the 9 and the 10 where he can make that four ball. I'm not so sure because he's not. Let's see. Let's see. Is he going for the four on the side? Maybe. That's a pretty long backswing. I didn't think he was going to shoot right there. I don't know if he can see enough of the four. Apparently he not. He's calling the corner pocket. Down there where the eight is? Down by the eight. Well, this guy does cut the balls really good, so this will be close. He's got a real good eye. Nope. Nope. And I don't see the cue ball anymore. <laughs> it's gone. Got sucked into that corner pocket. Ball in hand for Ike looks like a combination if the four ball doesn't go in the pocket. And Ike looks like he's got a one pocket game waiting for him somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Huh? Oh, he almost missed it. He kind of gave it a little bit of a nudge. Yeah, when you body nudge. That, when you hit him that soft, you better hit the center of the pocket. <laughs> Ike does not want to disturb that seven ball. Very yeah. good. Now he's got to come up table for the nine. A little distance, but well, I think he can handle it. He couldn't get it closer because that would have required just a couple more miles an hour shot. Oh, there he can just stroke that one in a very strange way. But that was easily the hardest shot he shot. You know, one thing I noticed with these good players, Freddie, they all make good hits on the cue ball, man. Yeah. Ike is on the hill, just like that. Just like that. Did, have we even started the match yet? <laughs> I don't think we've been playing 30 minutes. It's close. And speaking of 30 minutes, Jay, last night you called it. You said it'd be about three, three and a half hours. We were at three hours, 33 minutes. Well, I said three and a half to four hours, yeah. and we went just over three and a half Because we weren't going four. These are marathons. This one tonight is 10 balls, so it probably, I'm guessing the the over and under is around two and a half to three hours. Yeah, that's right. Ten ball will play a little bit faster than eight ball. Danny looks like he's ready to go catch a train or, or a nap. Catch a game. Catch a game. There have been some big games here in town while all the players are here. Now that they're all getting paychecks, there there probably is more. There probably was action there last night and maybe tonight too. Boy, it didn't sound like he hit those two good. But there's a ball, ball down in. And he's got to look at the one ball. Probably a free bank. That was kind of a, a dud sound on yeah. the break shot. His balls have been open. This one is not. See those four, five balls, four balls down table by the rack. Ten ball did come out. Does he want to bank that one and try to slide up table for the two? Because it's a very thin cut shot. Shoots with the lead here. I think he's going to shoot like the man in the lead. Interesting if he goes between the eight and the three. No, just on the inside of the eight. Or what he's thinking about is how can he get to that two ball? There is a little window between the five and the nine. He's going through it, though. He wanted to stop right there, and All right. no, 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 no. Are you looking at what I'm looking at, Freddie? Looks like the 210. Maybe he can shoot away from the two. But you've got to almost push this two ball. Well, it's as long as it's a stroke and he doesn't double hit. Yeah. Referee Bill Stock moves in close. Gets his eagle eyes ready. I don't like the angle on this 210 combination. I think he's looking to duck, come off the edge of the two ball and go down. And he's he might leave the two ten and hide the cue ball. Look well, out! I'm he's so good. Sure. Yeah, he did a good job there. He did a good job there. Well, it doesn't look like the two will be there in a second. It's not that easy to hit this ball because the nine is, is the blocking. nine in the way. Yeah. Okay. He can, yeah, he no, can hit he can it. Hit he can this. go behind the nine with right English. 
But he's got very little control of this shot. See, anything could happen there. And it did. And it did. <laughs> Safety allowed. Straight in with the two. When you're kicking a ball out in the open table, it's it's real hard, hard to hide the cue ball. Can you go forward between the nine and the five here? Or does he have to come to the side? He might have to let out a stroke a little bit here to get from the, the two over to the three. Yeah, he's, he's just off angle. Let's see what he can do with this one. Yeah, he had to put the whip to it. And he, he did get there. He get there. Kind of barely, though. He's a little bit short. He now he's going to really have to go back and forth here. I th I'd say he's an underdog in this rack right now because the way he's got to cut this, it's going to be hard to get on the four ball. Wow, he cut there that. There he goes, so back and forth. Oh, my God, how good did he hit that ball? That's two shots that are harder than most of the shots he's shot today. Mike, you got my respect right there, buddy. He had to go back and forth across the table twice. And he cut that three perfectly. These guys, man, they see those angles so well. Just probably go back and forth across the table again. One time, though. This time. One time across. He'll hit slow, I guess. There it is. It's a little more slow. He was... He's okay to leave himself distance. He didn't try to get any closer to the five ball. This shot's probably for the match right here. Because if he punches this one one in, he's right he's on the straight six Straight on ball. the six, and the eight ball goes in the yeah. side, I think, yeah. This is for the match. Will we make the five ball? And Mike Ike knows it, too. He knows it's all over if he can make this one. He oh, just, he yeah. kind of... He kind of lunged on that one. That's didn't he right. Think? That was the Alan Hopkins follow through. I think that's what I like to call that <laughs> he one. He threw his whole body, the whole into, body that into that one. Meanwhile, look at the position he got. He's got a shot that's almost as hard, but this one he can just roll in. Roll in. A little bit easier. He's in good shape now. I think Danny's about ready to throw in the towel. Well, he's going to roll this one on the side. Yes. Yeah. Good shot. If he gets on the. If he the gets towel. straight on the 10, let's see. The towel If Danny coming. stops him or makes him shoot. That's good. Yeah. He says that's good. We have a winner. Ike Seven Reynolds two. moves along to the fourth round. And we're going to take a break now. We will be back at 5 o'clock for the Tiger Challenge. Francisco Bustamante and Rodney Morris. Excellent. See you then.